put this in the video here too just for you chrome for the sake of my editors let me put my characters down first right put them where i want to put them and then we could argue so everyone shut the fuck up let me put my characters hold your opinions until i'm done placing all the characters let's uh let's get started okay first and foremost uh yeah uh beerus uh probably the best character of the game if not one of them that two and buff and the buff to his level three no. incredibly stupid my dog agrees uh need i say more no okay next uh ginyu now right uh two assist he's two for the price of one he has a c assist and more right he gets multiple calls at once you can solo 50 50 with him if you're on the right portion of his calls right uh, you can now cancel into the Ginyu squad off his 5 age, so now you get a 50-50 off of it, right? He can level 7 you, he does damage, right? Unnecessary buffs, dude. Why'd he get it? I don't know. 18? Again, she got buffed. She got that new 17 barrier on the ground, right? She could barrier to Chesty now. She builds a million bars. Still has her level 3 Elki. 18 stocks have only risen. Why? Ayonyo. She's mad crazy, right? Why did they buff Beerus? I don't know. Why did they buff 18? I don't know. Beerus should have bid on the 25% meter loss gain, right? Or, you know, his assist should have gotten nerfed. But what did they say? Like, what if we buffed him instead? Downplay? That's why? That's crazy, dude. Now, you're going to be like, what? That's crazy, all right? I think Vegito's still a very powerful character, okay? All he did was meter gain nerf, but he still has 5M. He still has his EX legs. In Spark, he has normal meter gain, right? He still has Vegito A, okay? Still a very annoying character. He's still very strong. Yeah, sure, he lost meter, but it's a good thing he's an anchor character because that means he's going to come in with bar, right? He is not the, hey, I'm putting you in so you could gain meter. No, he's the, oh, hey, I need to do a 50-50 and I have four bars. Yeah, Vegito, get in there. Beat their ass. Level 3 them. Vanish, 50-50. He hits you, you're dead. They're relatively still the same character, right? It's, again, he, him being an anchor character doesn't really impact the meter gain as big as, like, a point character like Labcoat or Gogeta 4, right? Or someone like Hit who build absolutely no meter. Uh, Adal Gohan, right? He got no bad changes, okay? He didn't get nerfed. He didn't get the meter gain nerf. He actually got a beam buff, which is crazy to me, you know? A lot of people were thinking that he's going to get a slap on the wrist at least, right? Wet Noodle. No. Same character, but he got the beam buff, so he has new routes, more damage. It's crazy. Unbelievable. I can't believe it, dude. Who would have thought we'd be here? Not me. Okay, this is my S tier, okay? And no, I'm not. As is tradition, I'm not going to do S minus, S double minus, S triple minus, A triple plus, A double plus, things like that. Well, else so I think could be S. I still didn't think Janimba's S tier. Realistically. Like, he got meter nerfed. Again, anchor character. Same shit as Vegito, right? Not as bad, but similar concept. He's anchor for a reason. He's not there to build you all the bar right he's supposed to come in with bar okay goku blue same thing as last time nothing changed the bottom which is good he's still strong and then base vegeta is probably going to be my last character here if i might i'm probably missing somebody but yeah big bang buff is crazy dude like a hello like yeah sure his neutral still isn't the strongest right he still struggles a little bit but that's why he's a point character you know remember you know all the french gas line us saying gogeta blue had terrible neutral that's fine they had vegeto a they had 17 a right i'll throw in baby because he was he was already there he was on the cusp of it and now he has true mix Baby always had damage, but the thing is, the game him true mix, right? Same thing with the... Uh, where is this character? You know what? Yeah, I have to round it up. So, yeah. These these characters have true mix, right? The only thing that was holding back Jiren from being an absolute monster was true mix, you know? Uh, this isn't ordered, by the way. Except for, like, maybe Beerus and, like, 18, you know? That's uh, Outside of that, though, I wouldn't really say anything is, like, typically ordered, right? But, yeah... Janimba, he went from 11 to 9 frames. Like, you used to be able to OS block it, but you can't anymore. Because, you know. Well, let me just put it to you this way. People were getting mixed by Gogeta Blue 2L, which was 9 frames, right? Same as Jiren's 2M now. So you can't say it's not mixed as you got your legs fucking opened up. Open says me, dude. From Gogeta Blue 2L, you know. 
I still think lab coat is strong, but I don't know if it's strong enough to say she's still top 10, right? Because a lot of people are going to drop her because people aren't going to play her, right? She might be S tier. I don't know. I need to see how she functions because you have to play C assist or barrier now, right? You can't YOLO with her neutral like you used to be able to. So she's either at the very top of A or the very bottom of S for, right? But anyways, just to wrap it up about lap code, Beyblade nerfs, you know, assist nerfs, right? Things that made her super annoying to deal with are easier to deal with now. A, a assist is almost worthless at this point. So you have to invest in B or C and barriers are cool. But with the way the meta is shaping up right now, you, you know, barriers aren't Unless you have 17A, that's a completely different story, right? Or you're like 18 and you can bury your chesty, you know? You think Ogito 4 might still be S? I need to see more. I didn't see how the meter nerf impacted him because he's the same, right? But he doesn't give the same support value. Well, I wouldn't say he's the same, but he's close to it. But his support value isn't as good as Vegito, for example, right? Like, don't get me wrong, his assist is great. But now that he's, his meter got shot a little bit, level 7... The, the game plan for level 7, which would be super strong right now if it didn't get nerfed, is, uh, I'm not gonna say it's not viable, but it's just harder to do now if he's on point, and he's very strong as a point character, right? Very strong as a point character, but the meter deficit still hurts him, because he doesn't have big support value, you know? Uh, 17A, right? 17, 17A, great assist. Character did not change in any capacity very strong no buffs no nerfs they left him alone they think he's a perfect character i think his meter nerf from his uh, i think his meter gain from his key blast should have been nerfed just a little bit just his key blast nothing else nothing else and i would have been okay with that but you know and before you youtube fellas come at me i gotta say this well what about janimba and gogeta 4 again janimba's support value is much higher than gogeta 4's right like you could use janimba a defensively for the most part strong right you know do 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 great for combo extensions great for defense calls right baiting whatever more solid character right overall doesn't have a uh a win condition that got nerfed right this is meter i put hit up here right it his meter nerf meter gain got nerfed but again he's an anchor character right so you shouldn't worry about it too much at worst mid so you yeah, the other character is gonna build bar for him so he should be still be coming in with some stuff right a little bit a little juice to work on some like gamer fuel you know what i'm saying off the goop so yeah relatively same character luckily he's not a point character you have other characters build meter for him but i will say this the one thing that does suck about all the characters that did get their meter nerf is you don't really want to play them together you at least don't want two characters with 50 percent meter nerf you you know 150 175 maybe 275 percent is cool you know wage team janimba hit i mean it's okay it's not the worst you just better hope your point character builds that juice dude yeah hit barely built bar in the first place which is i not what i wanted nerfs from hip right i wanted h stands to have more recovery if they cancel it into nothing you know they just stand there and then get out of it his assist not to track and auto correct but they're like hey just shoot his meter and i was like okay i'm still gonna say gogeta blue is still a strong character right it's very strong character you know his 2h got nerfed so you don't get the true 50 50 anymore right he has like seven frames of landing recovery so it's like a 16 frame low now right so you just stand block and then go low meter nerfed got meter got shot hard right very, again, 50%, you know. He's still a strong character, but if you put him on point, you're going to build no bar. You're still going to two-touch. Maybe. Depending on, like, what assists you have and characters you have on the back. But as a point character, he, he builds no meter. And again, right, point character is super affected by where they can go on teams now. But you don't really want to place... His best spot is point, right? It's first and foremost, point, best spot. Mid, maybe... Not anchor. Never anchor. Terrible anchor. Dude, don't put this man on anchor. You're still going to get two touch, maybe, depending on your team composition. But you're not going to have any meter to show for it, you know. Or you, you, it's going to be super easy to spend that meter if you go back to neutral and to not have the meter to two touch when you hit him again. But due to blue is B tier, he has no real place on team comp anymore because his kit was designed for point. My guy, you act like you're still not going to get light record into M record 50-50 and then proceed to explode. There's no meter nerf 
in Spark. So that's still on the table. You get hit by 2M, you get hit by 5M, with the way characters do damage now, where are those 2 to 3 bar meter positive combos now? I'm just saying. You get hit by JL, he's gonna spark and TLD you. He's like the only character who can do that. Well, I mean, Blue Vegeta now, and maybe, like, Jiren and Baby. So he's one of the few characters who can make you explode now. Or still. Off a jab. You, you're gonna die off a jab even spark. Uh, it's just up to Gogeta players to learn how to do it now. Uh, I'll, put, I'll leave Krillin in A. Krillin's still A, right? He got cool. He got more damage now, which is fine. They didn't gave him mix off EX uh, after image. It's not super crazy that he got damage buff, sure. His neutral is still a little topsy-turvy, you know, still great assist. But they didn't really improve his neutral. They more so just improved after I hit you, which is great, right? It's always great to have better after I hit you, you know, type of things. Let me just put the trash tier characters here first real quick. Trunks, ass. Still ass. Nothing realistically changed. Yeah, he gets a knockdown and JH is a little bit faster, but that really doesn't do anything for him right like sure you spend you save half a bar now on the knockdown your cross-ups are a little more consistent i guess uh yamcha that i showed when i did the, the patch breakdown that him being involved doesn't do jack shit for him jabs <laughs> what <laughs> Animus, so his heavy got the same thing, right? That's it? What? I don't... This is not what the boy needed, dude. For the most part. Like, man, you 5 them? Boy, let me just mash this auto combo and hit you with the, the medium starter, you know? Yeah! Kid Buu sucks. Like, realistically. Kid Buu gets eaten alive this patch. He's not playing the same game. He doesn't do damage right he doesn't have multi key blast he doesn't have anything that's anti key blast right his level three doesn't happy birthday okay his ass uh, you don't need a assist anymore so you have to run b now right but b is still whatever okay his neutral is eh his assisted neutral is eh kid boo is very ass dude he, he, how the mighty have fallen he got his supers buffed that doesn't do anything for him again his neutral is not that great now you might call me crazy for this next one dude and you're probably like why are you going backwards while well, i'm trying to meet the, the list in the middle here right keep some order there and you know trying trying to change it up a little bit you know because people go from top to bottom we, we go left to right top to bottom dude well if we went bottom to top ui's b ui sucks he got his beam buffed Woo! Woo! big whoop doesn't do jack shit for him. His neutral is still whack. He still only has one decent button. 5L. 5M sucks. 2M still sucks. 214H is whatever. His wake up, uh, round restraint will got nerfed, right? It's half a second long now. He he sucks. He's mid, right? Also, there's someone who I forgot at the very bottom of this list. Base Goku. Trash. Garbage. He got His beam doesn't even confirm into super dash from certain parts of the screen. If you don't believe me, go to training mode right now. Round start, beam, super dash. Or it's back. Wow. This shit sucks. Oh, and just to show, it, it does work with a regular beam, as you can see. Do you can super dash from round start? Cool game. He didn't get a better 2M. He didn't get a better 5M. He did his B assist didn't get buffed to where he could throw spirit bomb charge right. That would have been great. His EX uh, tackle. You can hit him out of it. You can hit him on the startup right. It's a terrible reversal. It's not like UI at least. Or he does it and you can't hit him out of it. You can hit you, uh, you can hit base Goku out of EX shoulder. Sucks. Yeah, but, but meanwhile, he can link to him after being full screen. So he might not be able to do it from that distance, regardless. Because remember, they have to be a certain height for him to link 2M. You, you can't just beam into 2M. If you saw the same combo I did, he, they have to be like jump height. 
from the key blast into beam. I think he's legit the worst character in the game. Or top three worst characters in the game. He's right up there with Trunks Yamcha. That assist alone saves him from being D tier, maybe bottom of C but I'm I'm doing it, dude. I'm I'm putting him in D because he sucks. Alright, I'm doing it. I'm gonna be the person that does it because these other characters have something, right? Something, dude. At, at, at least my man Trunks has, you know, EX flip and like sh sh movement. He has movement at the bare minimum, right? Bare minimum, okay? Him and Yamcha are fighting like this for last place, dude. But at least Trunks has movement. I want to say Majin Buu kind of got scaled down. Well, all these other characters got something he hasn't really got. I need to change this, by the way. While all these other characters got something, he hasn't really got anything, right? Don't get me wrong, it's not that he's gotten worse, it's just that he's been power crept, right? Like, why play Majin Buu when you could play Nappa, who virtually does the same thing, but better? He, he got, like, his, uh, breath beam thing buff, where he could, like, jump and confirm it in the corner, I think? But he hasn't really gotten anything too crazy, you know? Like, again, why play Majin Buu when you could play Nappa, who has anti key blast moves, has Cybermen, he has more damaging routes than Majin Buu, right? Restand, stuff like that, you know? Is it that he can do it from full screen? That still doesn't change my opinion about how Majin Buu has been power crept, right? Again, it's not that he got worse, it's just like he didn't get better. Nappa is just a better Majin Buu. They do the very, they have a very similar style, right? I want to restand you, you know, I want to reset you, right? I want to hit you with these crazy left rights. But the thing is, Nappa, you actually explode when Nappa hits you. You don't explode when Majin Buu hits you, okay? And it's, it's, EX Cyberman is one of the most broken things in the game. It's probably top three broken. No assist can beat it, no beam, no key blast. Point character has a punch ship, but then you have to worry about Nappa and the assist from the other side of the team baby is a fed better fat boo fat boo has and tears which are eight frames fast i mean don't get me wrong he has cartwheel and he has butt slam which were frame one interval but why are you thinking about playing a character in a defensive perspective and not just in neutral and everything else neutral when you get the hit doing damage things like that right and if you're gonna say that nappa has a frame four reversal option right which he could combo off of without bar. More damaging routes because his 2-3 success got buffed, right? Crazy resets. He has anti-key blasts, you know? Great anti-reflect moves, right? He has, what, four lows? 2L, 2L, or 5L, 5L, 4L, 4L, whatever the hell it is. 5M, 2M, right? Armored moves, you know? Great character. I would put 16 in A. I, I think the two buffs 16 got... 16 was already strong. Let me start with there, right? One of the best assists in the game, right? Multi key blast, fantastic, great, love it. But then they're like, what if we made your full your command grabs a little bit more than full screen, and they go through all projectiles and beams? So you can't really zone him anymore, right? I mean, you kind of couldn't already, but now you really can't because he's just gonna come at you. And then he's gonna call an assist behind him, and you're gonna explode. 16 B tier, in my opinion. Nah, because right now the meta is shifting to think about it. It's just putting a bunch of shit on the screen, right? And the characters that can get through that shit excel very well, you know, like Beerus, for example. Great 2M, right? 18 barrier. You're gonna put shit on the screen. I'm gonna barrier. Ginyu puts too much shit on the screen to handle, right? <laughs> Vegito A, <laughs> chuck some shit on the screen, dude. You know. Things like that, right? Geneva, of course, you know, Geneva A. But if you can get through all that bullshit, dude, it's great. It's great. It's always good. It's either good if you can get through the bullshit, or if you can put the bullshit out there, right? So yeah, and also he could kill you off a of full screen key blast because of his EX command grab. Yeah, there's a tweet out there somewhere showing somebody doing a very e simple, easy to do combo off of his two key key blasts from full screen into EX command grab, which is confirmable, and they exploded.
All right, moving on. I think, and this is gonna be crazy to say, I uh, I need to make one of these, dude. I know I said I wasn't gonna do it, but if I really, really had to, I would. I am going to make this just for these two. Uh, anyways, moving on, dude. Uh, yeah, Z Brawly with his new buffs. Uh, he was already a zoning monster, right? He had 5S, Party Key Blast, Barrier, right? Uh, his rejump was already easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But what if they said we made it easier and gave you more damage? Which they did, right? I assume it's more damage, more meter. Because you could always do 5M, 2M, 2H, air combo, bring him back to the ground. And then you could solo rejump, right? Essentially a rejump. Now, of course, you don't have to agree with my tier list, right? Some of you are going to try to find where I live, dude, and sit outside with a, a desk with a sign that says, Base Goku is not D tier. Change my mind. And we're just going to pull up with a beer and hang out. But the support value, though? Yeah, the support value is crazy. Don't get me wrong. It's it's fantastic. Again, I agree. It's, it's great support value. It's great. But I still think he's top of A. Because you know who else has great support value, but we're not going to put him in A+, plus or anything like that, who's, like, way better now? It's Piccolo! Piccolo's got amazing support value, dude. Double barrier up to Chesty? Barrier is, like, one of the few things that actually smokes beer assists. It's crazy. It's cra in fact, let me show you, dude. Check this out. I was I was in Hookstream watching this, and I was like, damn. That's crazy. I got to give you guys a visual representation of how good this is. <laughs> he gets smoked, dude. It's not a bug, right? A lot of characters' assists are gone by the time his invincibility runs out. But Piccolo spawning behind you, right? Very important, very important detail here. Piccolo spawning behind you enough to where he doesn't get hit by the startup of 2M. If he spawned like in front of you, then it would be terrible. Then it would suck. But the fact that he spawns you know be slightly behind you makes it great it makes it where he's not gonna get punched i think i think every a tier character is in a, a great spot you know obviously some more bullshit than others you know <laughs> beers mm. uh this is for things like i said things kind of trail off here gotenks got his bugs fixed gotenks got more damage gotenks got a 50 50 off his level three gotenks is neutral is still ass what do you mean? His neutral hasn't improved in any capacity. He's better in the sense of when I hit you, right? And you could just hold S and super jump EX punches. If, if the opponent is even one frame off of that 5L, you jump out. If your opponent is one frame off of that 5L, you jump out, right? But yeah, these other characters do better than him. Where will you put Super Saiyan Vegeta? I don't know. But yeah, moving on, dude. Uh, Majin 21, right? She got all these new crazy buffs to her steals. But the more I played her, the more I realized not having a sliding knockdown still sucks. Having to spend one bar to get the knockdown where other characters build two, two and a half bars and still get a knockdown into two touching you is unbeaten. It's undefeated, right? The news changes are cool, but she still doesn't get as much damage as, say, all these characters that are above her, right? Every character that it's above her does way more damage, you know, they need less resources to work, right? It's tough. Ain't no way, gangster. Ain't no way, gangster. He can't. You can, what? Brother, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, it's crazy me to think that base Vegeta is no longer the best Vegeta. Granted, he has better neutral than blue Vegeta, right? But he gets less off his hits, especially because they nerfed his key blast, right? They probably took like a good five, six hundred, if not more, from his combos. And of course, since meter gain is relative to, I, I, I believe, how much a move does, 
right? Even if it's uh, fully scaled, it goes off of its unscaledness, right? Maybe it's properties. I don't know, actually. I don't know what meter gain is based off of. Because Key Blast be giving you mad bar for no reason. 17. Anyways, yeah. They nerfed his Key Blast, right? Uh, Hook lost the tournament game because of it. In fact, the tournament set. So, him losing damage, right? But having good neutral is great. But now Blue Vegeta has okay neutral. But again, point character, right? So even if you have okay neutral, you have a team to compensate for it. And if you have good to great neutral, having a team behind you makes it even better. I'll say it, dude. Bardock is B tier. Again, they didn't really give him much. He's just been super power creep season after season after season after season. Redactable, redactable, and I don't know why people have trouble with it. You mean redactable? The redaction? But yeah, Bardock. Single key blast. Hilaria is like the best thing they gave him. But them speeding up Tyrant Lancer actually made Tyrant Lancer worse. Because you used to have to have to time your reflect, right? To, to reflect held and non-held. But now I don't even think you need to time it because it's just faster, right? S Brawly. Mm, I'll put him. I think he's ace. Yeah. The JS buff was cool, but again, that's after you get the hit. But I mean, he hasn't really gone anywhere. I think I put him A last time. He's, I, I, he's definitely a very good mid character. Your point character gets the hit, he comes in and he cleans the house. He got the SD buff, which is cool. He got the JS buff, which is cool. Well, SD buff off his beams, right? Relatively the same. Got some cool little quality of life changes, right? Proceed to explode as is tradition. Um, Cell, Cell is... Cell's pretty mid, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Cell's pretty mid, dude. Oh, shit. Again, Cell hasn't gotten much, right? It's the same story, dude. What he got, so did all the other characters, so it's not even unique to him anymore. Right? He used to be able to beam us the mid screen, and it was like, oh, great, Cell could do that. Well, Bandai was like, well, what if everybody could do that? So, what he had in particular that not everybody could do, he can, they can all do now, you know? Cell needs some help, dude. Don't get me wrong, he could still mix the shit out of you, right? Once he makes you block, but he has to navigate the neutral. And neutral is such a chaotic mess now. Like, look at all these characters above and what they could just put on the screen, right? Cell goes like this. What are those, dude? What are those? We don't care about that meme anymore, Cell. You're too old, man. Your Cell's old. Cell's way too old. You know what? I think Cooler is a resounding A. Right? If, uh, he got some nice buffs. He he can say f*** all the bullshit with 3H, which is pretty cool. He could combo mid-screen with 5H by what? Dash up 2M, I think? Cooler is what Cell wants to be. He's just so much cooler, pun intended. But yeah. He, uh, Cooler says fuck the bullshit, right? He 3H's you, he can now do damage anywhere, right? He has the... I think... I heard they buffed the J2H mix. I don't know if that's true, but I need a fact check on this. Anybody? That Cooler and Star are the same character, but one has neutral. Neutral, neutral is very important at this point of the game, and 3H is also an anti-air, right? Yes? Okay, yeah, that makes it even better, right? It, it, Guster assist, it's an anti-air dude, it's, he could fucking confirm off of it, right? It's great, it's a great move. 5H is negative 1, he has LDP into assist, you know? It, Cooler be eating right now, I'm almost done with this TLS talk. Frieza, man, this character, he had one change. He had one change that puts him in A tier for me, dude. The fact that his assist is slow now, is crazy. That one change from Frieza on top of everything else that he got changed his entire placement. It's crazy. Like, my man is a true blue zoner now. He just be doing shit. But yeah, his assist too, right? For those of you that don't know with Frieza, you can also have the slow orb come out as an assist. This being slow is just so much better. That is nuts. 
like so in this game a lot of it's very important to be able to super jump or dash in and hold back right very important but the problem with characters say like krillin is if you do that you get senzu bean but the fact that you can dash in hold back and call this orb is crazy right yeah it's not super plus by any means but you're not using this move to be plus you're not using this as a sense to go for mix right you're using this as neutral especially considering the fact that this assist yeah okay it eats projectiles on screen right it's beam durability how fast is the a assist let's find out 23 frames yo you lied to me bro oh no you didn't you got a down back oh so down back down and forward give different distances see that's cool but i feel like b assist is better because it, it just covers all three on the ground right well, anyways i think team gohan's a, a nice a tier the only change he got was b assist and a assist getting a little bit more hits done so yeah some quality of life changes nothing too crazy on point right same character as he was before just a little bit better i think his b assist is very strong top five assist but i need somebody to prove my case for me because you can dragon rush in the middle of the assist if they reflect if they reflect and they time it correctly and you don't get dr they if they try to hit a button they'll get hit by the other parts of the key blast from his b assist you know it's combo great ways to, great way to end combos great way to bait people you can sneak mi mix-ups into it reflecting is terrible it's great so quality of life buzz for him goku black i still don't think he's all that great i'm gonna be honest here bros i'm sorry i don't think goku black is all that great i think he's mid at best like yeah sure he has some nice block strings but he can't really mix you mid screen you know yeah goku black is definitely better than base goku what do you mean how fast is goku black to him i think it's like 11 frames dude let me see you have to play Goku Black Point. That's the thing. And it's not even a strong point. 11 frames. Yeah. It's pretty slow, right? If he was like 9 like Jiren, then I'd be like, yeah, this character is crazy. You, you know, you call an assist. You instant transmission, dude. You put this man in the gutter, right? But 11 is so slow. Axis is great, dude. Axis is a very good player, but he'll probably tell you Goku Black is not the strongest, right? Yeah, so like, his block strings aren't even that great. You can just jump out of all of these, right? It's, and if you do the fast one, yeah, it's 2 0 zero on block, but what does that do for him if it's not... Jiren has a 0 frame 2L that's a medium starter that goes way farther. You see where I'm going with this, bud? You can't 5S, 5H. You can. But what does, what does this do for you? Like, you're negative. What does this do for you? And then if your opponent blocks this, they could just mash 2H at any point and you proceed to explode. So this is risky in itself. Oh my god. I think if I just put you to crouch. Yeah. You just crouch and then you can mash 2H at any distance, right? So, your quote-unquote neutral tool is not very good, right? You're trying to catch them lacking or something like that, you know? Oops. Yeah, it's going to catch it, but, like, why would you do anything if you know the block string is going to end? All right, I just got to show you guys in the video. I didn't know this always led to a guaranteed reflect. That's that's guaranteed. And you're plus off the reflect, right? That's crazy. I could almost punish you. I mean, yeah, of course you could go into 5H and things like that. But if you do... Like, I think it's... My, is it an auto-reflect? It's an auto-reflect. Yeah, I think he's fair in his placement. I think he's A tier now. 
he doesn't have to deal with key blasts, right? So a lot of these characters, I like, can just put shit on the screen. He can do 5S, his power pull that goes through it, right? Like, I was fighting a Zebra all year earlier, and I kept forgetting I could do it. But when I did remember, I power pulled through that bitch, and I hit him. You, you know, then I started beating his ass, dude. It was great. Yeah, GT Goku got some buffs, right? GTA is 34 frames of block stun. It's a true string now if you block it in the air, right? It's super easy to convert off of now. It always gives you a dragon rush at the end of your combos because it's like Vegito A levels of hit stun, you know? But he has no limbs, no buttons, right? You, you gotta you gotta be in there while other characters Jiren be going like this, right? So he's strong. I don't think he's an A plus because his neutral is still a little iffy, right? But he's still a good character. I think he's good now. Super Saiyan Goku. I'll put him in A tier. Right, and again, only top two of S is ordered. You guys can fight in the back alleys about who's better, right? He got the quality of life buffs, right? The beam changes. Shits him out damage, you know. Same side beam mix, right? Solo convertible, you know. It's great. He's solid. He's better than UI. I think he's better than Goku Black. If you don't, you're crazy. Uh, Kefla, again, there's a lot of A tier characters in this game now. A lot of characters that are around the same. There's this in this, for the for the case, I guess for representation here, Frieza. This wouldn't say this is the bottom of A, because it's not ordered, right? But if I had Goku Black, then I would say he's at the bottom of A. Kefla's basically the same character. She got some combo routes that are different, but again, I'm not really putting all of this into how much damage you do now. Her being able to teleport off of her projectiles is pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, it's nice, it gives her new combos and extensions, right? But relatively the same character, you know. Master Roshi. Man, he got some cool shit, I'm not gonna lie, you know. But he still can't float. He uh, doesn't have... His movement is unique in the sense that it's a little committal, right? You flip it and shit. Uh, small buttons does right. 22H is a great special, one of the most broken specials in this game. It's an anti air and a low crush. He's hard, but I'm not really gonna consider execution too much because he's not that hard. I'll put him in A. I'll put him in A. Roshi is definitely a you need to be a master type of character, right? Hey, he's not a character you could just pick up and play. He's no Gogeta 4, right? He's no Lab Colt. He's no Blue Vegeta. He's a character they have to take to the lab, and you have to spend time with him. 6H getting buffed is great, right? Um, Thundershock Surprise being solo convertible now is amazing. You know, he, he, he shits out damage now. He already kind of shit out damage, but now he shits more damage out. Well, I'm going to have to make an exception for Zamasu. This asshole's still S tier, actually. He's just not as S because he got a slight meter gain nerf, but it's not that bad. He, nothing changed about him realistically. Um, yeah, Zamasu still mad buff, right? You still explode. His 2H is still amazing. They didn't touch him at all. Flight is still one of the stupidest things in this game. Um, yeah, I, I think he's a resounding bottom of S. Hmm, I don't know, man. I, I mean, let, let, me get, let me get Tien out of the way. Tien, A tier. Nothing changed about this character. He's exactly the same as he once was. So, of course, he stays in the same spot. <sighs> I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to trust Inzem and Wawa on this. Because they think Super Saiyan Vegeta is pretty solid. Right? They think that he's got some shit now. But I will say this. Why play Super Saiyan Vegeta when you can just play Blue Vegeta? Super Saiyan Vegeta got Hollow Mix, but why would you play Super Saiyan Vegeta when you got Blue Vegeta? That's all I'm gonna say. He got his buffs for 2 3 success, right? He got J2M, right? You know, mid screen conversion, shit like that. Better combo, better damage, right? You know, things like that. A assist is still a decent bait assist, right? You know? Fidel. <sighs> Did Fidel get anything notable? I think she's the same character for the most part, right? Faster 2M. I mean, she already had a low 2L, so. Yeah, but she has new combo routes because of the 2M. It's like 2M, 5H, Gohan, or some, something like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'll am put her in a resounding A tier. Right? Now, characters that you could argue should be higher are Gogeta 4 and Lab Coat. But I need to see how they play with the new changes. Especially Lab Coat. Especially Lab Coat, right? Like... 
That 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 assist nerf and the Beyblade nerfs are pretty potent. And the meter nerf, right? Alright, Gogeta 4. He's still strong. Meter nerf sucked a little bit, right? A lot of par a lot of characters that got buffed came up behind him, right? Like one of his big things was shitting on you anywhere. Now a lot more characters can shit on you anywhere, you know? He still has some of the best movement in the game. His level 7 game plan was nerfed, right? You have to work 25% harder now. But yeah, so this is my tier list. I think it's pretty fair. Obviously, you can argue some things here or there, right? You could argue Gogeta 4 and Lab Coat should be S. You could argue go, you know, 17 and A plus or whatever, right? But I, I think it's pretty fair. No, I think CSS are 10.5 seconds, you know. I think it's pretty fair. Obviously, you know. You're not gonna like it, not everyone's gonna like it. And uh, there you go, man. Fight in the YouTube comment section. Tell me right now, we're face to face, right? We're having lunch. You YouTube fella, who are you like, no, you're crazy, Cloud. This character is this good. You're trolling if you think they're that bad. Let me know. I'll meet you in the comment section, all right? I'm waiting. I have my popcorn. See me, bro. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, sub, comment. This is gonna be day one, week one tier list, dude. What am I basing this off of? Again, absolutely nothing. Just what I feel like and what I've been told. Can I be wrong? Definitely. Will I be wrong? Probably about one thing or two thing. I don't know, we'll find out. Now get in the YouTube comments, dude. Did I stop streaming? What button did I hit? Did my stream go down for two seconds? <gasps> don't match your keyboard when you tabbed into your stream. <laughs>